Hello everybody, this is John Ashworth, otherwise known as the Fitness Nomad, back again today at the Nomad News Desk, where if you remember, we tell it like it is, baby. Tell it like it is. Special guest in the studio today, my son Carl. He's been here all morning helping clean up underneath the treadmills, all the nooks and crannies and all the places that don't normally get attention. Summer break gives me an opportunity to spend some time at the studio with the kids, and it's a true pleasure. So I encourage any of you out there who are able to bring your kids to work for this month in August to do just that. Number six in the series, how to get your gut. Look for trans fats. So if you really are trying to build that gut, and it appears that many of you are, look for more trans fats in your diet. And before we get to the details on that, I just wanna run through one through five now. Number one in the how to get a gut series, don't bother ever getting up. So stop exercising. Keep eating as much as you ate in your 20s. Bump up the number of calories that you eat in every bite by eating a lot of those empty calories, foods that don't have a whole lot of nutritional value but have a lot of calories instead. Number four, drink your calories. Go out, have as many lattes and special syrupy drinks at Starbucks as you like. It's a great way to get a gut. And number five is eat out more often. That was a really good one. So if you haven't watched that one, they're all really good, but that one in particular sheds a light on how much more likely you are to get that gut if you eat out more than once so a week. today, like I said, we're here to talk trans fats. So why should you care? It's actually get a trans fat is, a partial, is partially hydrogenated oils. So what they do is they take fat and they pump a bunch of hydrogen ions into that fat to make it more stable so that stuff can last longer on the shelf. In fact, a really quick story about that that I like to tell has to do with the Newman's own dressing. When he was originally looking for someone to bottle his salad dressing, he had a heck of a time because of course all of the bottling companies wanted to put trans fats into that dressing and other preservatives to make it last longer on the shelf. Do you know why? The average bottle of salad dressing is designed to last, are you ready for this? Two years on the shelf. Remember, key number two in the Eat Like a Nomad nutrition book, eat whole foods. Stuff that lasts for two years on the shelf, that's not a whole food, is it Carl? No. <laughs> All right, so what, it's, it's actually getting harder and harder to find trans fats because we're taking it out of the foods now that we know it's so bad for us and it causes so much inflammation in the body. But you can still find it buried inside pie crusts, pastries, microwave popcorns, frozen pizzas and biscuits, and a lot of the packaged foods that you, you eat. You can also get it in restaurant foods unless you're living in one of in one of the areas like New York City or Philadelphia where they've actually outlawed the use of trans fats. And I think over time we will see that, but in the meantime, you do need to be careful. So why should you care about trans fats? Well, like I said, it's step number six in building your gut. The first clue came back in 2003 in a study of more than 16,000 men at Harvard. The, researcher, the researchers found that those who ate more trans fats we're likely to gain waist circumference over eight years. So direct correlation between the number of trans fats you eat and how big your gut is, which is why it's a great step if you're looking to build that gut. Okay, another interesting study at Wake Forest University We're actually measuring 42 male African green monkeys. They studied them for six years and here's what they did. Half of the monkeys were fed diets rich in trans fats and the other half were fed diets high in monounsaturated fats. So those and the polyunsaturated fats, those are the good fats. So those are the ones that you wanna be careful how many you're eating because they pack a lot of calories for each gram, but they're really, really good for you. Researchers in this study, they tried to give the monkeys only enough calories to keep their weight constant, all right? So they weren't overfeeding these monkeys. But the trans fat, monkeys weight jumped 7% while the monounsaturated fed monkeys, that's kind of a big mouthful, monounsaturated fed monkeys were, their weight only rose 2%. So pretty big difference, same number of calories, but the group of monkeys that were fed the diet high in, sat in trans fats, 
their weight jumped seven percent other monkeys weight only jumped two percent another very interesting note about that is here we are in this study this is a good example of what happens to people over time as we all continue to age it's harder and harder and harder to maintain your weight by only controlling the number of calories you eat you really do need to be exercising regularly and you really need to be doing strength training as part of that exercise program and again if you're interested in taking advantage of one of the nicest studios in town here at the fitness nomad studio we have a very private very exclusive environment that is a pure pleasure to train in and if you want to hear a little bit more about that from one of our most recent clients you can go to the home page at thefitnessnoman.com and watch a video interview with one of them here's another interesting fact about the monkeys that were eating the diets high in, in trans fats they had a higher post meal blood insulin level which means they had a bigger spike in blood glucose levels following those high trans fat meals suggesting that they had become insulin resistant insulin resistance means that over time as you gain weight and that gut that you're trying to build is getting bigger and bigger and bigger your body is less and less sensitive to the amount of insulin circulating and the insulin is that hormone in the cell that processes and helps you process sugar and over time as you gain weight that belly starts to creep out farther and farther the body can't recognize the insulin very well anymore so it has to produce even more insulin and ultimately you're headed for type 2 diabetes heart disease there was also some other interesting information in, in these studies at harvard and at wake forest and that trans fat could be interfering with the ability to send signals through cell membranes so ultimately that interrupts normal fat storage and fat burning and kind of the big moral of that story is when you eat processed food the body gets sicker it doesn't want to process that stuff it's not natural it's not normally recognized compounds that you're putting into your body and you are what you eat so you can justify it you can joke around about how great it is to go out to mcdonald's or any other fast food place and stuff yourself with custard french fries hamburgers and any of the other junk that they feed you but it will make you sick right carl yeah all right so this is john ashworth otherwise known as the fitness nomad from the Fitness Nomad News Day, where we tell it like it is.